name's Claire and this is my allotment in the northeast of England and this is day one of two. today with me dad just to do a bit of weeding and just to try and get some of the beds laid out for next year and Brian who works on the committee for the allotment um, came over and had a chat with us and basically the council have been round <laughs> surprise surprise and they don't like all the weeds I'm growing so um, they said that I'm going to be getting a letter out so basically my dad was up anyway so we've done a lot today to get some rid of some of the weeds um, so yeah, this is the end of the first day. I think we're going to try and come up tomorrow. We're going to try and get some more wood chips and see if we can like, put the wood chips down on the paths. But to be honest, I don't blame them because it is a mess. Well, it was a mess. It's not now. I'll take you around and give you a good look around. But yeah, I'm just going to collect some tomatoes before I go home. Um, and then I'll give you a quick look around. But we've done loads and it looks really nice. And I'm quite excited because um, I wanted to do a perennial garden at the front. And it's kind of, it's nothing like putting a stick up the to get, get moving really. And I think that was um, the little motivation I needed, the council coming round. But um, I mean, obviously in our defence, we're both like working care and we're just, we've been working like everyone else through the pandemic. And this place is a bit like a respite for me to come and when, when I want to do a little bit of work up the allotment, I'll pop up and I'll do a little bit of work. But... It has. It's made us realise that, you know, it's more than just a little bit of a respite for me. I need to make more of a commitment and come up a bit more and get some more work done. So, Ugh. woman at the committee. I don't even know her name. But I'm just going to call her Barbara. Barbara at the council. I don't know what her name is. But yeah, Barbara. We've done some work to see. But I hope if Barbara, it's not her name, but Barbara, if Barbara comes back up, she'll be able to see that we've done quite a bit today. And hopefully, in our defence, you know, we work full time. It's not, no, it's no excuse because you get an allotment because you want the commitment, but sometimes life just gets in the way. I'm rambling on. I don't like Barbara. Oh, yeah. 
Right. Don't fall, okay? Can you see? Picking tomatoes here. Picking tomatoes. Yeah, see? Mm-hmm. The wall of sweet corn. And Dad's been out with a strimmer. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Just a couple little ones I need to pull out. But you can see, you can see the point just trying to make, you know, there was just weeds everywhere. But it just looks so much better, doesn't it, when you've cut the tops off these weeds. Yep. So the plan is, we're going to, hang on, let's get where you can see it. We are going to divide this. I don't know how, I don't know what you think, but I'm thinking maybe six, hang on, one, two, three. Actually, maybe nine beds I could put in there, like one, two paths there two paths here so you're left with three six nine and i think that'd be more manageable wouldn't it that'll stay the same that'll probably stay the same size as well that's going to be one big bed with a path down here oh more tomatoes Amazon. hello um i've done a little bit of weeding here it has trimmed all this and i've finally pulled me lettuce out that went to seed was, wasn't because of Barbara and there we go and that's what we've done down here so the plan is we're going to have perennial beds here we've got two with a walkway I think I'm just going to do a walkway down the middle so we'll have two four six eight eight beds and the idea is to have we'll put stuff like blueberries in that's all I've got really I'm not very knowledgeable on perennial plants and fruits so if you've got any ideas let us know um but yeah we've got quite a bit done today so i'm going to leave it there for today and i'll probably do another video for tomorrow i don't know if i'll join the two because it might be quite long but thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed think about it if you know barbara tell her okay i was going to do it anyway it had nothing to do with her coming to the allotment and if you know what barbara's real name is will you let us know but i'll see you in the next one